I just made this table for my new CNC Shapeoko Pro. I started design of this table before the CNC was actually delivered and fine-tuned the design for several rounds. First of all, let me show you some key features of the table. There is a foldable side table mainly for placing laptop. I designed this foldable table at the right side of the main table closer to the control board of the CNC. Since I didn't have enough storage space in my shop, so I used the longest drawer slides I can find. Shapeoko Pro comes with a redesigned dust boot which can fit 2.5 inches holes. So I designed this support frame and holders for 2.5 inches dust collection holes. The 175 pounds Shapeoko Pro needs a strong table to support, so I used a hybrid frame and also used these robust leveling casters, so the casters can be used to level the whole table. I designed this table in Fusion 360. This is the exploded view of the table structure. I also made a detailed 12 pages plan for this table. The link to the plan can be found in the description below. Now let's go through the build process of this table. First part is about the table body. I mark the required lengths on 2x4 numbers and then cut them on miter saw. Then I pre-drilled countersink holes at the design positions. Most of the parts were connected with wood glue and 1.5 inches construction screws. But I used the pocket holes on the three center legs. Then I started to assemble the top frame and the bottom frame. The tabletop was made with 3 quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. I cut it with circular saw. As I don't have a plywood large enough, so my tabletop was actually two separate pieces of plywood. And they were screwed to the top frame. The side panel was also 3 quarter inch plywood. I did not use Baltic birch here because I happened to have some walnut plywood left over in my shop. The walnut plywood together with the three 2x4 legs form the side support frame of the table. The plywood sitting in between the top and the bottom frame can help to square the table. The 2x4 legs are glued and screwed to both the plywood as well as the uh, top frame and the bottom frame. The whole table was assembled upside down, so the last piece was the leveling caster. These casters are super strong and solid. So this is the main body of the table, still in an upside down position. Second part is about drawers. 
I cut it the front panel of the six drawers from one sheet of three quarter inch maple plywood. So they actually have continuous grain. The drawer body was made with half inch Baltic birch as four walls and quarter inch plywood as bottom. I used half half connection for the four walls so I need to cut rabbits on front and back panels and cut dados on the two side panels. As I was too lazy to change saw blade, I just used my combination blade to cut the rabbits and dados with multiple passes. Drawer handles were carved on Shapeo Pro directly. I used a 3 quarter inch walnut with some sap wood. So there are two handles with light color and the other four with dark color. And so this is a quite interesting feature. Before attaching the drawer front to the drawer body, I marked their positions to make sure I won't mess up with the continuous grain, and also marked the position of the drawer handles, as I used the holes for drawer handles to temporarily attach the drawer front, then pull out the drawer and secure the drawer front from inside of the drawer. Last part is about the foldable table. The foldable table top and the support were made with 3 quarter inch Baltic birch. I cut it them on table saw. I used threaded insert, socket head cap bolt, wind nut and spring washer to make a height adjustment mechanism. 
Thus, I can make sure the foldable tabletop is leveled, even if there were some errors in the installation of the hinges. Okay, that's it for today's video. Again, there is a 12 pages detailed plan for this CNC table. I also put a list of most hardwares I used into that plan. Please find the link to the plan in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please thumb up and subscribe.